let's see how we can set up the discovery to set up the discovery we have to have perform the six steps the very first thing is that we need to activate the plugin so if you are already existing customer you might already have that activate this plugin uh, discovery plugin in your system if you don't activate uh, if your organization doesn't have activated that um, plugins in your instance what you have to do you have to uh, log into the high portal and you have to raise the change request to activate this discovery plugin you can't directly go to the plugins module and activate that so as it is a paid services you need to uh, log into the high services and then from there you need to activate that now coming back to your personal instance for your practice purpose if you're trying to install this you have to visit the developers.servicenow.com the way i have logged in here you can see this is the developer.servicenow.com and here under this you have options called uh, activate plugin and under this activate plugin if you search with that discovery you will be able to see this discovery module if you click here uh, you have the options called activate plugins activate plugin with demo data so if you are trying to pack practice so i suggest that you should activate plugin with the demo data so once you activate this plugin the discovery module will be activated and it will be visible to in your instance second step is the install mid server so you have to install the mid server without mid server you can't do the discovery so this in the discovery uh, module the basic structure everything controlling everything will be done through the mid server the mid server is nothing but a um, system or you can say the application which can be installed either virtual server or physical server in your network so you have to have installed the mid server for that so if you don't know how to install the mid server i already have done this uh, video uh, how to install the mid server you can go to by this playlist and find out that third you have to validate that your mid server is up and running and it's a validated state and also there is no error under the mid server you need to resolve the error if there is any error occurs under the mid server log to do that what you have to do in the left navigation if you type the mid server under this you can see under this discovery module you will be able to see this mid server also there is a separate, uh, separate uh, you know uh, module for mid server you can either go here or servers here anywhere you can go and just click that you will be able to see all the mid server which is present to in your instance so at least you have to have uh, depending on your region location you have you can have multiple mid server so in my case you can see uh, one mid server is up and it's validated so this mid server is up and validated and whatever is the running um, recent version of the service now that is showing here now if i open this uh, mid server under this you will be able to see uh, there is a one related tab called mid server issue and you can see there is no issue at that moment if there is any issues you should have resolved that issue secondly if i go back to the configuration parameter you will be able to see that which service account i am using and then what is the credential i am using what is my uh, url that's all everything will be sh shown make sure that you check that supported application either it should have all or maybe it should have the discovery so if you click edit option you will be able to see all this application name like uh, discovery mid server management cloud management so either it should have all or maybe it should have the specific uh, based on that requirement so if it is only this mid server is used for only discovery either it should be discovery selected or it should be all next in the ip range make sure that the ip that you are trying to discover let's say that you uh, as i mentioned that using the discovery we first discover the ip and then i mean we search using the search jump probe we all all the ip and based on the ip we found that um ci and all those details right so make sure that your ip um, range is available the in the range whatever you are looking for that range is exist on that mid server so these are the mid server verification and checklist you have to do before you go to or go and discover that mid server uh, discover the ci third step is the set the credential you have to have set the credential to set the credential what you can basically do you can go to this left navigation under that you can type simply discovery module under this discovery module you will be able to see that credentials if you click that credentials these are the credential is already uh, uh, present you can see there is a one uh, uh, 
credential which is created called Windows Meet Server account. So basically during that process, if you remember that we created a service account. Through this service account, uh, you can see that service account is available here. So this is the uh, credential which uh, already created. Now go back to your uh, system. Let's say in our case, I'm going to my um, computer that I'm trying to discover, right? So I'm going to that uh, system here uh, on, under this um, actual server. If you type that CMD and here, let's say that I am searching that IP config. And here I can see uh, my IP address is 10.1.4. So this is my IP address. Now go back to my um, under this service now. And then here you can take the test credential. And then for Windows system, the port number is 135. Now put the target equal to this IP address 10.1.1.1 and see that um, this is, uh, I'm, I mean, uh, this IP address, I'm able to verify this credential or not. So 10.1.1.4. So this is the IP address. I'm trying to do that using the credential. I'm trying to check that this um, is, this credential is successfully tested or not. And you can see it's saying the credential is validated. It means that the credential, this credential is automatically created when during that mid server installation. In case this credential is not created or not present, you can click new. And under that, you have option called Windows credential. Click that Windows credential and put the name, username, password. Credential is created. Now we have to create the discovery schedule. So using the discovery schedule, we can um, actually start discovery. For that, what we can do, we can go to that schedule module. Here under this discovery, you can see discovery schedule module is there. And here you have a quick discovery, cloud discovery and new. So if you want immediately discovery you know, on a particular specific IP address, you can put this quick discovery or else you can create a new discovery. So I'm going to create a new discovery. Now, when, once you click the uh, discover schedule, the first module is that um, discover uh, schedule, um, here you need to put the name. So let's say that uh, in our first thing, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to do that um, horizontal um, discovery, okay? So for that horizontal discovery, uh, if you see we have horizontal and top-down approach, so we are going to do the first horizontal discovery. So this is the simple steps and uh, that's the reason I'm going to do that horizontal discovery. Under this horizontal discovery, we have four phases and if you see the first two phases are classify the um, actual uh, system and then third step is determine and update the CI, right? So uh, here, you have a discovery type, I mean discover, and then here you have a various options like configuration, item, IP, network, um, server, less, cloud, depending on what you are looking for. So if you select that configuration item, what will be do? It will create the CI into your um, CMDB table. So let's say that I am going to put that name called um, D1, maybe the my discovery name, okay? And now I have to select the mid server. So I'm going to select the mid server. Let's say that up and running this VM new, this mid server is up and running. Now, if you want to select the location, you can select the location um, for this specific location. Otherwise, just keep that. Now here, so discovery might take long time. So you can define that maximum time when you want to, I mean, after how long it will be automatically canceled that you can define that. Now, after that, we have a on-demand run type is on-demand or not. So you simply uh, either select that daily, weekly, monthly. So it, every day it will be start discovering and check that or maybe daily or on-demand like a schedule job, depending on your use cases, you can select that. Let's say I'm selecting monthly and here um, on month on what date it will be run and then what time you, it will be run, you have to specify that. So this SAGEM batch size is defining that each time how much, um, you know, it will, I mean the discovery will be done through the batching system. So first in first batch, how many IP address it will be such, depending on that you can define here, okay. I'm not doing anything. I'll just simply uh, save that record. So after defining all these details under the discovery schedule, what you have to do under this discovery IP range, you have to define the IP range from where to where you are trying to scan. 
as i mentioned that discovery the first step of the discovery is that using the sejam pro verify all the ip addresses active ip addresses and then based on that uh, it will be you know classify that so first thing we need to define the ip um, range so if you define here under ip range so so this range will be only applicable for this uh, discovery schedule if you create the discovery range set so this range set can be used in a different different um, discovery schedule so i'm going to uh, create a discovery range set so i'll click new button here and then once i click the new button i have to put the discovery uh, range set so let's say that my uh, devices so this is my be my range set under this range set i have to define the bottom all the ip uh, ranges so i click the ip ranges and here say that my um, devices ip and here i need to put the starting address and then i need to put the ending address there are various type of here so you can put the ip list then you have to define the list one by one um like that if you can select that um you know zone ip network you can define that so at that moment i am selecting the ip range i need to put that my starting address and ending address let's go back to the um my system local system under this local system you can see my ip address is 10.1.1.4 so i will go back here and then i'll put the ip address 10.0.0.0 so starting for this 10.10 um this ip address and then the ending at ip address will be 10 point uh you know one point um um no 1.9 something okay so this might be my ending ip address so i'm not giving that so much big so i put that one point um you know 0, 0.0 something like that so this is my starting ip address and this is my ending ip address okay so starting ip address 0, 0.0 point i mean 10.1.1.0 and then ending is 10.1.1.9 so this is the range i am giving so you can give that big range it will take a lot of time to uh, you know um, scan and give a um, giving you the result all right so this ip range set is created now go back to the schedule and see that under the schedule that ip range is set or not so i'll go back to my schedule again so now under this schedule if i scroll down right now you can see this my uh, devices um, ip address range is set once um, it said uh, that every month it will be run on the first of the month for demonstration purpose i'll click the discovery now once i click the discovery now it will create a discovery status under this tab and then it will start discovering or it will be let basically it will be start uh, uh, finding those ip address based on my range and then it will start discovering that ci so i'll click discover now once i click that it, you can see i have landed to the discovery status page which is nothing but if i go back again to the schedule if i go back here under this discovery status it's create one discovery status and then um, you can see it's right now uh, started okay now if i open that discovery status you can see this status is state is active and then it, once it is completed the state will be changes to that um, you know complete state okay now under this you can see um, that uh, discovery log you can see it's showing that discovery started and if i go back here um, you can see eccq under this eccq uh, initially if i uh, see that created by first it is uh, if you see the topic sejong prop so, so this is the first props they have uh, payload they have sent and then based on that they have received some input so this is the first step of that so if i go back here we have first step called scanning so the in the first step they have sent the sejam prop and they receive the input and then second under the second step we have the phase called classification on that they have so in this case they have identified which um you know which uh, all ip address is available and then uh, it's send the data and it receive the output and after that um, under the third step it's uh, in the identification process it sent this 
uh, horizontal discovery props so it sent that and if i click here so this is output and i have not received any input yet so you can see it's saying the processing so these are the things that are already processed and this is the output that have processed i mean process in in process and if i go back to the devices at that moment you can see it's showing the sources i mean from what is the ip address and then cmdb ci is at that moment blank it is saying that it is a windows uh, classified so in windows server and still it is in progress state so if you click the discovery timeline so you can see that holistically that uh, the timeline from how much time it is taking from where to where so this is that um, output that we have sent and then this is the another output we have sent so this way it, you can see that um, uh, in a graphical representation that what is happening in your discovered so let's see that again uh, where we start um, where we started actually so after that you can see uh, after certain time the state has changes to the complete state um, if i refresh here right now reload here so you can see the status a state is completed at that moment and then eccq i have eight logs and you can see um, if i go back to the devices at that moment i will be able to see that one um, device of from source is this one this is the source and then one uh, ci is created so if this is the ci which is got created and then this is the the ci status I mean it's updated if i open this ci so this is the if i open the cmdb ci table if you see it's a windows server under this windows server this is the asset tag this is um, you know well, you can see that microsoft corporation which is um, right now and then this have the domain and then these operating system service pack dns all these details are populated and under that whatever the network uh, adopter is there software installed so these are the software which is installed under these um, application i mean under these now if i go back to the storage devices these are the hard disks that uh, is available under there and then if i click here so this is the uh, memory uh, so this these are the memory and then these are the file configurable file these are the serial number available so all these details will get one by one and then ip address these are the ip address that is present at that moment so all these details uh, we'll get from the horizontal uh, discovery um, uh, and we will be able to discover the windows server so that's it for today uh, in the next session we'll talk further more on the discovery so till the time thank you very much have a great day